I'm gonna hit the gym and sneak in a quick workout. Wanna come? Sweating it out in the steam room isn't exercising, buddy. No, it's sit exercising. Ruby, Gandhi, come here. Great. Dr. Cox and his golden boy med student. I wanted you to witness this. Number one, say goodbye to the number one sign. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> and say hello to the number one shirt. What? It's beautiful, honestly, the nicest shirt I've ever received from a grown married man. Oh, go on. Please leave me alone. Put it on. Hey, wow, that's, that's some crazy ink you got there. What the hell is that thing, anyway? I don't know. I woke up after a three-day bender driving a forklift and sporting this. My name's Drew. I'm so cool because I've been in prison and I got a tattoo. Mark him and I'll eat your soul. Tattoo spooked you a little, huh? His breath was so cold. So cold. Flapjacks. Oh, thank God. I thought I was late for Dr. Cox's class. That would be the biggest mistake I could make. Damn, girl. That was a workout. Okay, second biggest. You know, normally I like to sleep in, but part of me is an early riser. Wow, this should not have happened. Again. Not that it wasn't nice. You have small but surprisingly powerful hands and almost no beard. It's like you were created in a lab for a woman's pleasure. The thing about Cole is that No, he... no. No third person. Let's begin with some Q&A. You, seat filler. Tell me the thickest layers in the walls of veins. Uh... Thank you for getting us off to that rousing start. Who's next? Ah, pin-up girl avoiding eye contact. Ugly Don Cheadle. What about you, Legacy? Got anything? Well, yeah, uh, you see. No, curiously, I don't see. When Dr. Cox gets like this, it feels a lot like second grade gym class. <laughs> Hairless baby, show some sack and pick up a ball. Who wants it? You! Uh, you! You! Yeah, Ralph! You! Not the face! Yeah, in the face! Play the voice! Anybody else? Oh, thank you, Muffin. The thickest layers of the walls of the veins are the tunica externa. Correct. Everyone else? Stare into my eyes so I can clock the very instant when you first realize that you're not going to make it. Here we go. Thank you. That was lovely. Hey, congrats, bro. You really brought it today. Oh, but who's that nipping at your heels? Uh-oh, it's Sea Dog. Sorry, I don't speak hipster gibberish. Oh, I'm talking about this epic battle you and I are locked in for the number one spot. Okay, I'm assuming you like to be called dude. Love it. Dude, I don't like the spotlight. I don't like the extra attention. I tried med school before and I crashed and burned, okay? Oh, I'm playing it humble. Nice angle. But careful walking on the tracks because there's a coal train coming. Choo, choo. psyched when Dr. D asks me to swing by for office hours. So tell me, how's school going? Well, my hair is falling out in clumps, so that's not necessarily stress. I mean, I am getting older. That's what I want to talk to you about, Lucy. You need to be prepared for when I leave. Damn it, why bring her to the learning tree if you're not going to use it in your inspiring talk? My, my point is, while I'm here, I'm yours, but you also need to branch out. Nailed it! I don't know if I can get through med school alone. Don't worry, before I, uh... Leaf, you're on fire. I'll make sure that you have a mentor you're as close to as I am to mine. Speak of the devil. Hey, Perry, you want to hang out later? Sure, and if we can't find any more climbing trees, we'll just head down to the old swimming hole and skip stones until the fireflies tell us it's supper time. I assume that's a diss of some sort. <sighs> oh, snap. That hurt to watch. Can't wait to see that on the surveillance tape. <laughs> that's right. We have cameras everywhere. We're watching you. Dry. Copy that. I need a new mentor, someone strong and not afraid to express emotions. Maybe a woman. Give me my chips, you dirty bitch. Or her. Help me shake this machine. Dr. Mahoney, I was wondering if it would be possible for me to uh, shadow you in the hospital. This is not over, you filthy whore. Shadow me. Sure. No, wait, I forgot you totally annoy me. Is there any way you could instantly change your entire personality? I guess I could try. Even the way you said that was irritating. Look, I'm not the mentoring type, okay? Go ask Turk. 
I did, but he said, and I'm quoting now, I already have Dr. Bradley all up in my business. Dr. Turk, thanks so much for taking me under your wing. It's such a privilege, I feel like I should be paying you something. No, I don't want your money. Okay, tear it up, sir. No, don't, don't tear up your money. My bad, sir, taping it up. Tom, you're ten years older than me, and you have a wife and kid. Please have some dignity. It's too late, sir. I wish Dr. Cox had some time for me, but I get it. He's a busy man. A very busy man? Just true. It says why! Cox and I were drinking beer and watching sports. Two things you hate. First of all, Turk, I've learned to pretend I enjoy beer. And secondly, I love sports. The opening ceremonies for the Winter Olympics is not a sport, and you cry during it. Uh, if you want to talk about crying, let's talk about the end of Rudy. Hold on, he got on the field at the end of the movie with his dad and his... You know what? No, no, we're not going there. Excuse me, Dr. Dorian. Sorry, Mr. Class. Can we get the notes? No, actually, Drew, you can't. And I'm going to email the whole class and ask them not to share their notes with you. Then tomorrow we'll have a quiz on it. That seems excessive. But, okay, what was the lecture on? I don't remember, Drew. It was 20 minutes ago. What are you doing? I know, I know. It's just that Cox is draping himself over that kid like a cheap hussy. And then I have to find you and Perry canoodling in that sports-themed tavern pretending you like beer? Well, we're not pretending. We actually like beer. Oh, stop it, Turk. It's me. I just feel like I'm being replaced. That'll never happen. You want to know why? Tell me this instant. Because you're John damn Dorian. You're right. I am John damn Dorian. You John damn right you are. Now give me a chest bump. Oh, but don't flex, because it'll knock the wind out. Mm-hmm. See? I can't breathe. I'm sorry, white bread. I'm not currently looking for a protege slash suck up. <gasps> Dr. Mahoney, I am not sucking up. If I were sucking up, I would tell you how much I like your shoes. Which I do, by the way. They're mannish, yet flirty. Like, hey, boys, come watch me build a deck. <laughs> Look, I just really, really want to shadow you, please. Gurney. What? <gasps> oh. Ah, uh, I think I'm on your tube. <clears throat> That's how I eat. Sorry. Dr. Mahoney, if you do let me shadow you for the last time. No. How are you feeling today? Well, I have my up days and down days. Some weeks I have more up days and down days. Like last week I had four up days, one down day. I was like, let's have a party. But today I think I could really use a hug. Lucy? I changed my mind. You can start shadowing me by hugging Mrs. Maroney. Okay, Dr. Mahoney. Wait a second, Maroney. Mahoney, that is so funny. Yeah, not as I understand funny. Take Mrs. Maroney down for MRI. Oh, can you keep an eye on my son? Your what? Excuse me. Hey. Watch a kid for me? No, I'm afraid of kids. He's 12. I got shot by a 12-year-old at a petting zoo. Besides, I gotta change his shirt, the neck's choking me. <laughs> we get it, Drew. You got a very muscular neck. All right, team, this should be fairly straightforward. Scalpel. Drew's rubbing this t-shirt thing in my face. JD, what the hell? I'm in surgery. It's not even the right color for him. He's clearly an autumn. You've lost it. Dr. Turk is right. You should be asleep. She should be asleep. That's my fault, sir. If anyone gets sued for this, it's gonna be me. Look. You gotta remember, you're John Damn Dorian. So think about it. What would John Damn Dorian do? W W J D D D D. Is that too many D's? Why are you awake? <laughs> this thing is so complicated. You're not that petty kid anymore. Just let it go. I could do that. Or. Okay, a patient has hypotension, hyperpigmentation of skin, and hyponatremia. What diagnostic test should we run? Oh, I know, I know. Anyone but the board certified doctor? Good call. I'll observe. We do an ACTH stimulation test to diagnose... Addison's disease. It's Addison's disease. I was going to say that. Yeah, we'll never know, will we, Drew? <laughs> walking tall. Dorian, walking tall. Feeling tall, Perry. Okay, I'll admit it. Kids are good for something. I can get you the mints, but if you want these chips, I might dislocate my shoulder. Chips. Fine. <sighs> done. Nicely done. <sighs> my mom in the hospital all the time. I just figured out how to do this. Yeah, I never knew my mom. You gonna cry about it? No. Here you go. Oh, you gonna cry about it? Excluding number one here, today's assignment is for everyone to drop out of medical school. Your parents' money would be better stuffed into garbage bags, packed into a rocket, and shot into the sun. Oh my, this gentleman appears to be coding. What a delight. Who would like to dive in? I'm on this. Where the hell did you get a scalpel? I'm present for my uncle. Handles made from elephant tusk. It's mad illegal, y'all. Step off. Number one, jump in. Excuse me? You know why I call him number one? It's because he is Roger and ready to do this stuff. Drew, run the code. What's first? I don't know. I'm standing right here next to you. Let's take his pulse. Now tell me, which nurse should go get the crash card? Huh? You hesitate, just lost. Take a breath. <sighs> Make a decision. Uh, her. Tell her to do so. Go get the crash card. Now we're cooking. Around here, you can be thrown into the mix at a moment's notice. I'll be right back. 
I've got the results of Ryan's mom's MRI. What's it say? That she's dying. Bring him back to her room. You just have to hope you're up to the task at hand. You're doing really great. Is this guy dying? Probably, but he's been circling the drain for months, so it's no biggie. Now he's unresponsive to CPR. What's uh, next? I don't know. Sure you do. Think. I don't. Come on, Drew. Tell me. This is insane. I'm not ready for this. Of course, if you let someone down... Ruby, a little help here, please. Go. It can turn into someone else's moment to shine. There's no better way to celebrate saving a life than pretending to like beer. Oh, sticky. Yep, I'm sitting between my best bud and my abusive father figure watching my new favorite thing. Footballing! They're staring. Quick, talk like a jock. Sports grass is so lovely. Here I thought we weren't bringing our wives this evening. Speaking of which, Carl can't make it to the Owlcats game this Friday. We have an extra ticket. I'm in. I'm in. I gotta see this sports grass in person. Give me Dr. Cox. I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, I have to apologize. I made a lot of bad choices in life. Quick example, I accidentally uh, set a shrimp boat on fire once. <laughs> It was a long story, another time, but uh, um, today was one of those bad choices, and if I had the power to go back in time... You know, Drew, we all wish we had superpowers, okay? Do you know what the perfect superhero power would be? Candy hands! For me, it would be the ability to get back all the time I wasted on people who eventually let me down. Awesome. Dude, think about it. Candy hands. Everything you touch turns to candy. Whoop. Candy lamp. Candy Perry. <laughs> No candy powder. I don't know how I'll ever be ready to give people news like that. You all right? I'm super. Go away. Hey. Hey. I know the next couple months are really going to suck. If I need questions, can I, like, call you? Yeah. I don't know, Ryan. Oh. Okay, cool. Why is the college mascot an owl cat? I don't even know what an owl cat is. I like to think it's what happens when an owl and a cat fall in love. Hey, here's my kiss ass with some pizza. I'll be back with a couple of slices. Dr. Dory, do you have a second? No. I mean, sure. <laughs> Look at that right there. Look. Appreciate you. Oh, Dr. Mahoney. Hey, I need to talk. Oh, my God. Were you raised by horses? No. I wish. I was just studying. What's up, Shorty? And fornicating. Cole, get back under the horse blanket, please. I was thinking that maybe the three of us. Cole? Horse blanket. Fine. Maybe we should just go outside. Great idea. You want me to help Ryan through his mom's death? It'll only be a few months. A year tops. Come on, it'll be fun. It'll be like having a really sad pen pal. What are you doing? You should help him. Listen up, Seabiscuit. This isn't my wheelhouse, okay? It's taken me a long time to get to a point that I can be there emotionally for a patient. You know how I do it? Every second that they're here, I remind myself that once they leave this hospital, either on their own or in a box, they're no longer my problem anymore. Out the door, out of my head. It's the only way it works for me. I still think you should do it, but I'll talk to Ryan. Good. And another thing. I do love horses. They are God's most majestic creatures. If they could talk, they would be so very wise. I've been in a pretty deep hole the past couple years. A lot of self-destructive stuff. Honestly, the only thing I've burnt more than shrimp boats is bridges. I need to change that. What do you want from me? I understand you and Dr. Cox have a special relationship. He's kind of like my dad. I was hoping you could help me fix this with him. You know, it's Drew, right? Yeah. Drew, I've known Perry Cox a very long time, and once he's made up his mind about someone, he's never going to change it. I wish I could help. That's awesome. You're not going to help him out, huh? Kind of sucks. I thought you wanted to be a good teacher. During the day, I'm a good teacher. But right now, I'm ready for a little Magnum P.I. crustache. I'm going to be Magnum P.I., and you're going to be Black Higgins. We should talk to Dr. Cox. I'm 
questioning a lot of things today, like my choice in men. Hey, babe, check it out. I'm Dr. Wolverine. And my choice in mentors. I really don't want to do Dr. Mahoney's dirty work for her. I got this. Oh, I love that game. If you want to beat the love, we got to take that sniper out of the church. I know. Hey, I know you guys are going home today. So I wanted to give you my cell phone number in case you still want to talk ever. Whatever. Give me that. You're horrible. I'll get the sniper. Yesterday when you were young, everything you needed done was done for you. Now you do it what on the your hell are you wearing? I'm showing my owl cat spirit. If it's not enough, I have wings and talons in the car. Is that glitter? Hell no! It came with the makeup kit. I don't have to use it. Today? Oh, for the love of God, Francine. I gotta go get the tickets at Will Call. Please don't let him put the glitter on. I've heard that sentence uttered about another man. Harry, uh, I want to talk to you about Drew for a second. I, I really think you're making a mistake with him. Don't you have some gay dance rehearsal you got to attend? He has potential, and you know it. He's too old. He's experienced. He quit. But he came back. What exactly do you want from me? I want you to realize he set the bar too high. The attention that you're giving to Drew, I would have killed for that eight years ago. But you weren't ready yet. I had to break it down. I tamed you like a bull. Excuse me, are we approaching a point here, Doyen? Perry, you finally found someone to believe in. Don't ruin it by being you. I think I just mentored my mentor. But maybe that's how it always is. Our roles are always switching. Sometimes you're a student. And sometimes you're a teacher. Lucy, you still want to shadow me? More than horses love rainbows. Let's go. Too close. And if you're smart enough... Everyone can learn something. One more question, and all you little assassins can get out of here. Someone please tell me where the Foramino Valley in the Fetal Heart is located. Drew. Save us, please. Uh, the interatrial septum. Yes, nicely done. I'll expect you to be wearing your shirt tomorrow. Everyone leave now. But whatever you do, don't wait for that pat on the back. Because believe me, it will never, ever... Oh, come on! You can't go back now. Oh, I love you, sports grass. It is pretty soft. Pretty soft? It's like lying on a cloud. Why did they have to ruin you by painting all these numbers and lines? Hey, Cap. Looks like we got some more turf freaks. Turn it off. That is disgusting. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Warm up the golf cart and get the taste. The Mexican one? El Conquistador. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 